The latest tirade comes from the opposition calling on the police commissioner to resign. The outburst published in the Post Courier got a response this morning. And I'm con confident that uh, the case would not have dragged too long if this file is made available for me to have a look at and to make a decision. The integrity, as I will say, they've called for me to resign. My integrity is on the line, okay? And, uh, and I have worked up very hard to build my own personal integrity to reach the way I am today. I will not step aside and I will not resign simply because of political calling, all right? No politicians have asked me to join the police force and no politicians have assisted me to work my way out to where I am today. Police Commissioner Gary Bucky says he still needs to receive the investigation file and the Prime Minister has rights like any other citizen in the country. Regardless of the allegations of the warrant against the Prime Minister, he's still an issue, uh, he's still an elected national leader and the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea. Respect must be accorded to him regardless. On Friday, leaders of parties that make up the opposition bench, National Alliance leader Patrick Pruich, Papua New Guinea Party, Belden Nama, Papua New Guinea National Party, Karangakua, former Prime Minister and Mosby Northwest MP, Sir Makera Morauta, called for the Prime Minister, Peter O'Neill, and Police Commissioner, Gary Baki, to step down. Clearly a conflict of interest demonstrated by the Police Commissioner. He has compromised this office. I'm also calling on the Ombudsman Commission to intervene. If he has done nothing wrong, what defend yourself? That's what the court is there. And five years to this day, we haven't even taken the first step. The arrest warrant was issued against the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill over allegations of corruption in 2015. The Prime Minister has said on numerous occasions that he will cooperate with police if there is any evidence. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News.